So if there are these problems with uh, polynomial interpolation, in particular numerical instability, um, if we go to uh, larger than 20 points, or um, these uh, large swings if we go to the uh, uh, extrema of our, um, of our domain for the data points, how can we use polynomials then um, to do interpolation? Well, this is where splines come to the rescue. Um, the idea behind splines is that we don't just uh, use a polynomial that goes through all of the points, but we use a lower order polynomial that just goes through two neighboring points and then we impose additional conditions on to make sure that this polynomial is uh, not just continuous, but also continuous in the first derivative or even in higher derivatives. Um, so the, the simplest example of combining um, uh, polynomials would be to combine first order polynomials, basically straight lines. But of course, you know, that is, is essentially linear interpolation. Um, so there the first derivative is of course discontinuous. So that leads to problems because uh, some of our algorithms that we're uh, relying on, for example, minimization, will depend on um, having a continuous function. So that makes this not a good option. Um, and that's why we go to a higher order for our polynomials between two neighboring points. And in particular, cubic splines, um, where splines are these patched together polynomials, um, cubic splines are going to be the useful, the most useful way of doing that. Um, so this is where we take our two points, xi, yi, and xi plus one, and yi plus one, and we connect them with a cubic equation, so third order polynomial. So um, since this is a, a, a cubic, the, the second derivative will be linear, the first derivative will be quadratic, so that gives us some ways to make sure that these um, functions are continuous and uh, that the derivatives are continuous, the first and the second derivatives are, are continuous and the function itself will look smooth and won't have um, a, a first derivative that is discontinuous as in the case of linear interpolation. Now we have in this polynomial, in this uh, third order polynomial cubic equation, we have four unknowns. Um, so in addition to our two equations for y sub i and y sub i plus one, which is because of the requirement that the function has to go through those points, um, there's two more um, constraints that we can impose. And those two um, constraints are on the derivative on the left hand side of this interval and the derivative on the right hand side. So um, if we uh, look at the, the, the interval from i minus one to i and the interval from i to i plus one, then we can impose that the derivative at i, at x sub i, um, has to be continuous. So that gives us two more um, uh, constraints on the four um, constants a, b, c, and d here, um, except, of course, in the very first and the very last interval where we can do that. So there's going to be an additional degree of freedom there. Um, and so people talk about um, a natural cubic splines um, where that derivative is set to be uh, specific values um, at those endpoints, uh, which we don't have to go into here right now. Um, so that's what a cubic spline is. And so we can look at our um, physical pendulum solution. Uh, fortunately, um, SciPy Interpolate provides us with this uh, spline solution uh, or spline interpolation. So if we import uh, SciPy Interpolate, then we can use interpolated univariate spline here for the x values that are in our case the time values and then the solution of the ordinary differential equation as the y values um, so that will return fip which is a function um, that uh, we can call for a set of t values or for any set of t values or any t value um, of course i'm going to have to make sure that that um, function is loaded, so let's solve our ordinary differential equation so that y od int is, uh, is, is indeed holding the, the right solution, as you can see here in this graph. Um, so if we now determine this cubic spline, then um, we can evaluate that cubic spline at all of the values 
t between 0 and 3 now with 200 um, points and so that will be uh, that will show up here in a second there it is so the black points are the points that we got back from our ordinary differential equation calculation and all the red points are the cubic interpolation or the cubic spline interpolation between those points um, also notice that even though I didn't specify that this is a cubic spline um, the uh, function actually has uh, takes by default um, this uh, this cubic spline that will show me the the help here there it is um, if we scroll all the way down we see that um, interpolated univariate spline by default takes this parameter k equal to 3 and k is um, the degree of the, the spline so we could actually also go through a f to a fourth order spline or with k equal 1 we would find a uh, linear interpolation between the points okay so that gives you an idea of what uh, um, the splines are and how these um, solve the problem of uh, finding values between a set of points that we have uh, received as a as a solution to our ordinary differential equation